It's fun to be back in the kitchen making yet another favorite from my second cookbook, Little Red Book of Recipes to Love, Entertaining at Home Made Easy. Today we're putting together the cherry cheese Danish deliciousness. It's an easy to assemble, flaky filled pastry to love. So the first thing you're going to do is assemble the filling for the Danish deliciousness and that's the cream cheese, the powdered sugar, almond extract, and the whipping cream. One great thing to do in advance is to make sure you have all of your ingredients measured and ready to go. That will make the process so much easier for you. So you're just going to beat together the filling ingredients until they're light and fluffy in an electric mixer. You're going to want to scrape down the sides, make sure you get all the almond extract incorporated. Add the almond extract and stir that into the cherry pie filling and then you're using the crescent roll dough for the base of your pastry so you're going to roll that out on a buttered baking sheet and then you're just going to take some time to seal together uh, the seams and make sure you have a flat rectangular base for your pastry so after you've patted out the crescent roll dough, you just want to make sure all those seams are sealed because you're going to fill it and then weave the pastry dough on top of it. And if you haven't done that, it will fall apart. But after you've smoothed it out and sealed the creases, you're going to take your cream cheese filling and you're going to spread that down the middle of your pastry like that. And then you'll top that with the cherry filling. And then we'll just weave the pastry over the top and assemble it and it's ready to bake. The cherries just go on top of the cream cheese. You kind of want to leave some space at the top and the bottom so that you don't have cherries seeping out the pastry. Just kind of spread that out so it's evenly distributed. And then I think the easiest tool to use for the weaving is just if you have a pastry wheel to cut those strips. And um, the recipe says two inches by five inches, but you just want to cut from the outside in uh, some wider strips up to the cream cheese pastry first on one side and then on the other so they line up and that will give you some strips of pastry you can wrap over the top of the filling to make a nice nice danish so I might do one more there and there and then it's just a matter of taking the pastry and I kind of like to weave it diagonally over the top so just take both ends and alternate back and forth like that. And I wouldn't recommend getting the crescent roll dough out early because it will warm up and it will be harder to work with. So you, you want to keep that cold until you're ready to assemble it. And then the next step is going to be making the egg wash, the egg and the teaspoon of water and mixing that up and then we'll brush that on and sprinkle the sparkling sugar and the almonds on top and we'll be ready to bake. So 
So you take the egg wash and you brush it over the pastry with a pastry brush. And that will give it a nice golden brown finish. And it will also um, help the sparkling sugar and the almonds uh, attach or stick to the, the pastry. So then we'll do the two tablespoons of sliced almonds on the top. sparkling sugar and you can just use regular sugar if you don't have the sparkling sugar but the sparkling sugar is larger crystals and I think it looks prettier on the top of the pastry so you can find that at um, some grocery stores or you know craft stores that have a baking department and it's nice I think on a pastry and after you assembled it then you're just gonna bake it in your preheated oven 375 for 16 minutes. While your pastry is baking, you can stir together the almond icing, um, powdered sugar, heavy whipping cream, and almond extract. And you're just going to whisk that until it's smooth. And then that's ready to ice your pastry when it comes out of the oven and you've allowed it to cool for a few minutes. So the pastry is done when it's golden brown all the way around and you're going to put that on a cooling rack and let it cool and while it's cooling I guess my recommendation would be to take the almond icing that you whisked together and put it in a baggie or if you have a pastry bag that's great but if you don't you can just use a baggie and we'll just transfer it to that and seal it up and then when we go to pipe the icing on we'll just put the end and it will, you'll have a lot more control over the icing and it will look a lot nicer um, when you're serving it. After your danish has cooled you're ready to ice it and if you transferred your icing to a baggie you're just going to clip the corner of the baggie so it's easier to pipe and I just think it looks a lot nicer if you're piping it out of a bag. You sure wouldn't have to do this if you wanted to just drizzle it on with a fork. That would work well. But I think that piping it is, uh, it makes the presentation even nicer and it's certainly not difficult to do. And most people have baggies in their drawer. You don't need to invest in pastry bags. You just want to make sure the pastry is all the way cool because if it's not and you try to pipe the icing on, it's just going to melt and roll off. You don't want that to happen. And then you're just going to slice it. I, I would recommend using a serrated knife and just slice it into strips. And then it's ready to serve. your cherry cheese danish deliciousness.